I'm Andrew Hoffman, and today we're going to talk about how to import uh, loading animations, how to use them in our watchOS apps. Uh, to, to start, I'm going to open Xcode and then create a new Xcode project in here. Uh, just make sure that we select uh, watchOS tab, so we're, this is not an iOS app, uh, and we're going to create just the watchOS app directly. So we don't need the, the iOS app here together. So here, I'm going to call it uh, Lottie Tutorial Watch OS. And I'm going to select Swift and I'm going to select Storyboard. Swift UI is also possible, but it's going to require a couple of extra steps. And uh, so we're going to use a Storyboard here today. So just make sure that you create the folder and create the project. Uh, Xcode is already going to set up the base configuration for us. So uh, the watchOS app, basically how it works is that we have always two, uh, two targets. One of them is for the interface. So this is the app itself. And the other one is the extension. That's how the, it's called in here. And this is where all the files or the, the code is going to be at. Uh, so like right now, what I'm going to do is select the interface. And in here, in, with the interface, I'm going to uh, command shift L and drag and drop here the, the image uh, inside of this. So you can just uh, open it here. Uh, just make sure that it's like uh, occupying the, uh, most of the screen so, so that we can actually see the animation inside. And in the mode, let's just create it as aspect fit. So the animation is always going to be visible inside. It doesn't matter how big this is. Well, this is done. Uh, once once we have that, just uh, press Control Alt and Command and Enter uh, in the in the keyboard, and you're going to uh, to already have the this uh, side side pane in here, which is already linked to this view controller, to this interface controller in here. Uh, so what we do now is just uh, select, just uh, press uh, hold control, uh, tap on it, you just drag and drop the image inside of the code. And we're going to call it here image view. I know it's not an image view, but well, uh, at least we, we know what exactly we're, we're doing in here. So it's actually an interface image because UI kit is not present in here. Once that's done, uh, we can just close this, uh, the, the side controller, and we can actually close the entire project because the next step is going to be about uh, importing the, the, the library that we need to be able to, to develop this thing. So just make sure that you close the project and you navigate in terminal, you navigate to the root folder of the project. So I already have it open here, so I'm just going to, to, to drag it inside. And I'm going to tap pod, uh, to type pod in it and enter. And you're going to see here that we create this pod file inside now. I'm going to open the pod file using uh, Atom, but you can do that with Xcode or any other text editor that you have. Uh, just, you're going to just note that you're going to see here that we have different targets, but the target that we need to import things to is actually the extension. So just make sure that you import things inside of here. So we can go all the way to the bottom uh, after this pod, uh, the, this comment in here, and we're going to first define the platform. So just make sure that you type platform, space, and then the column, watch OS, all lower key case, like no, no, no watch OS with uh, uppercase. And uh, the version that we need to support here is from 6.0 and up. Uh, so like if you if you type exactly like that, it's going to work. Uh, then, uh, well, we're going to actually use for this, not the normal Lottie one, because this one is actually not supported by watchOS. Region, reason is that uh, the Lottie, uh, Lottie library made by Airbnb uses core graphics and core graphics is, is not uh, available in the watch, uh, watchOS. So like if you ever try to animate things in the watchOS, you're going to see that everything is about uh, sprites. Uh, so it's like it's actually a SQL of uh, PNGs or like whatever image. And this SQL of images is going to create the animation. Uh, and the, the, the library that we're going to use here actually transforms the JSON 
animation into uh, bitmaps and then and then we animate the bitmaps so we're going to see the magic happening in here so it's going to be a little bit different from from normal apps that we are used to okay so uh just we're going to to import this uh this is going to be from from version 0 0.1.0 .1 uh very early stages uh here i'm going to just in the terminal again i'm going to say pod init uh sorry pod, pod install and then press enter this is going to create already our pods is the downloading everything that we need in here all the dependencies you're going to see that we actually have three dependencies there uh the sd web image the the coder and then the lib r lottie that's actually made by samsung so once that's done we can already close this pod file we're not going to use that anymore we can open again the project using this time the the workspace uh, uh, file and once we open you're going to see here that we have uh two different targets now uh we we, we choose different projects one of them is for our uh, main app and the other one is for the pods uh well if you try to command b now which is to build you're going to realize that we have one problem and we're going to see that in a second yeah okay so you see here uh that there is uh, an error so let's find this error here so if i go all the way to the bottom in here and you're going to see that this thing here is accusing an error again oh my god like what's happening uh this one and also this one here so if you see uh xcode is even suggesting us to you to use something different so we're going to just come here and then uh, use the Xcode fix and then try to command B again. And magically, of course, it's going to work now, right? So uh, we have our everything already imported. We don't need to, to worry about the, the, the pods anymore. And now what we have to do is just in, to implement our animation. So let's do that. So like if you try to, to come on R now or to just press play on the top here, you're going to see that the app should just run. There is not going to be anything inside, but it's already running. So the next step now is going to be about actually importing our animation. So let's choose an animation for us, right? So I'm going to come here to, to lottyfiles.com and then I'm going to go to popular and i'm just going to pick something here maybe this rocket i think is going to be a good one yeah let, let's oh no this rocket here is going to be the the one that i'm going to pick i'm just going to copy this uh this url in here and i can already close this uh and i'm going to to start by by going back to our interface controller so you see here that our image view the interface image is already imported inside here this is what we linked just before uh, i'm going to create a function uh, and this function is called uh, load animation so that, let's do that so i'm going to just say here load, load animation and this is going to load using a url Okay, so we have our function and we're going to call this function here from the await function. So say, just say a load animation, you are all, and you are all with string. Oops. And I'm just going to, to give the, the URL. This is, uh, I have to, to force and wrap because this could be nil. Uh, but in this case, I always know that this is never going to be new because it's actually a URL. Uh, so I have no problem. I just uh, type this and this should be just a call call, call to, to, to the load function. Now we're going to actually load our animation. And how we do that is actually creating, uh, loading the, the data of this uh, animation and then using the data. So we're going to use uh, just the URL session so you can just use uh, URL session task, oh, sorry, just URL session uh, dot shared. And uh, let, let me just copy the code here instead of 
I mean, uh, I'm gonna copy and then I'm going to to explain what's happening in here. Yeah, so basically what we're doing in here is uh, creating the session and then uh, creating the, the data task. So you see here that we, we create the, the URL request based on the URL that we give it. Uh, this is just basic Swift. There is nothing special here. We're not even using any, any imported library just yet. Uh, so what we do here now is uh, once it's downloaded, once we have the data, oops, once we have the data, uh, we're going to just create uh, the, to set up the animation. And this is the, where the magic is going to happen. For that to work, first thing, we're going to create a few variables. Um, and the variables we're going to give them here. So I'm going to just say, uh, create a mark here and then say animation. So all the configuration for our animation is going to be all here. And I'm going to, to paste uh, the, now it's not pasting from my iPad. So let me try that again. Oh yeah, now, now it worked. All right, so we have the, uh, the coder, we have the animation timer. So this is what we're going to use to, to animate, uh, to, to, to show the, the time of the animation. We're going to, to have uh, a current frame uh, variable, and we're also going to say and to, to have it if it's playing or not, and of course the speed. Uh, there are a few ways of we're going to, to, to use the speed, but like I'm just going to give you one way, uh, and then like you can be creative later. Uh, and have your own way of uh, animating this. Uh, here, just before we, we proceed, yeah, let's just make sure that we import this as the image uh, loaded folder uh, so that it stops complaining in here. Uh, and then we're going to create now our setup animation uh, function. So I'm, I'm again going to copy it uh, from the iPad here. I hope it's going to work this time. And okay, it's working. And yes, so finally we have here, uh, so this is just to explain, we, we have, like we, we set up, we downloaded the, the data, and once we download the data, we have here uh, the coder. So we're going to basically use the, the JSON data and decode to, uh, to a bitmap. So, so this is what this function is doing here right now. Uh, and then like we're going to, to set up to, to frame zero, and we're going to, to start animating. The start animating uh, is going to be basically, the, this set image is uh, just a small function that is going to, to put the uh, rendered frame, the rendered bitmap uh, inside of the, the image. So this is, if you try to use it here, coder dot animated image uh, frame, you see here, that it just returns a UI image. So that's how we need to do. So we, we have the, the image, uh, my, uh, my indentation is all broken. So I'm going to select everything, control I, uh, and then now I have the indentation uh, working again. And then I'm going to create the play function. The play function is, uh, I'm going to just uh, put both here, play and pause, where I think we're not using pause here right now, but uh, the, the functionality would be very similar. So basically what, it, what we do here is uh, once we have the, the first frame, so we decode the, the animation, the bitmap, then we, we reset the, the, the current frame to zero, then we set the first frame to the image view. So if we don't have anything else in here, so if I just comment play and then I comment this out, and then I run, you're going to see that ah, there's already some magic happening over there. And let's see this magic. Yeah, so it loaded already the first frame. You see here that it, like we even have something already playing. Uh, not playing, but just uh, showing there. Uh, so let's make sure that we start uh, having different ones here, right? I'm going to just uh, set, set play. Uh, my, my playback function is basically this, like I'm going to use a timer so the timer that I set in here, uh, I start by invalidating just in case it's already being used or something. Uh, and then I create my schedule timer. 
Uh, this number here is random is by test. So you can test out different numbers uh, just to make sure what's the, the, the one that works better for you. Uh, and then like I have the, the, the repeat. Uh, so if it's going to repeat or not, this is of course is going to loop. So I'm, we're going to keep on repeating inside here. And then inside here, inside my, my, my uh, animation, inside my timer, uh, basically what I have is uh, check if it's still playing. And if it is not, we just invalidate and don't continue. But if it is still playing, we go to the next frame. And then we keep on doing this until the animation gets paused. And animation pausing basically means we, we check that flag to false and, and then we invalidate the, the timer. So that, that's basically what it's doing in here. In here. So in the next frame, uh, next is going to be just this. I'm going to copy again from, uh, from the iPad here. And then we have the function to the next frame. Next frame is basically like this. Uh, because we already started our coder before, uh, we already have the, the, the frame, the, the, the bitmap renderer. So once we have that done, uh, we just go frame by frame. So I just uh, sum up to, to the frame. And once I sum up to the frame, I just check if, the, if we reach the end of the count. If we didn't, we just, uh, if we did uh, uh, re, uh, reach the end, we just reset because we're looping, right? Uh, so like we just have to make sure we do this, otherwise uh, the, uh, eventually the animation is going to cease to exist because the, the frame doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and then uh, having that done, finally we set the new frame uh, into the image view. So we can test it out. I'm just going to ident it again. We can test it out by running and you're going to see the magic happening here right now, uh, which is actually animating our uh, lodi over there. And this is going to loop over and over as many times as we want. There are a few tricks, like you're going to see there are a few tricks that we can do for making it faster. Uh, for example, we can skip frames. Uh, if I try to, to, to skip a frame here, instead of counting one frame up, we are counting two frames up, it's gonna be a lot faster. Uh, you can play around with this number here. So there's a, this is another way of making it faster. So you can play around with these uh, different configurations. Uh, this is the basic implementation of the, the, the Lottie animations for, uh, for SwiftUI, for uh, the, the WatchOS app. And if you have any questions, you can just comment down below and let us know. So have fun and may the magic be with you.